All right, guys, so now I'll show you two different ways to, to capitalize on the omoplata. The omoplata is a very, very tough position to finish, especially no gi, uh, but it's a great position to reverse in. And when I say it's a tough position to finish in, it doesn't mean you can't do it. Like I've seen plenty of guys finish with the omoplata. All right, uh, so same entry that we're having. When I'm here and I break the posture and I turn to a hip, I immediately trap. All right, so I'm coming back to this position, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my foot right to my partner's trap, okay? I also want you to understand that any time you're in the omoplata position, this foot, everybody tries to clear, but this foot is giving you a lot of control. Whether it's here or in between your partner's legs, you have more control over your partner to attack things such as the wrist lock, okay? So yeah, no one likes the wrist lock, but the wrist lock is here. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna bring our hand back, look to get the lock on our partner. All right, this will also cause our partner to kind of freak out a little bit because no one likes getting wrist locked. How I'm doing it is I'm just bringing my thumb right to my partner's palm while I'm pulling with the other hand down, all right? It's not something I focus too much on, but it's there. All right, two, my knee turns in all right, my partner can be trapping my leg. All right, so he thinks he's safe here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive across. Let's back up just a little bit. I'm driving across my partner, all right? Getting up to the elbow, turning my knees down, forcing him over, okay? This is gonna be a very, very strong reversal that you guys use. If We want to bring the leg all the way across. You can. Now, if your partner's trapping your foot, if he's trapping this leg right here, it's it's really okay. All right, a lot of people get stuck trying to pull the leg. Don't try to pull the leg out, look. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this foot. You can hold my leg. I'm just gonna bring this foot right in. So no matter how hard he's grabbing my foot right here, all right, and trying to prevent that, I could always bring this foot to the inside, all right? Now, when you're in this position, you're always in danger of your partner rolling. That's why if you notice, I'm kind of leaning in this direction rather than being flat on my back. I'm staying on my elbow, okay? In order to finish this, I wanna switch my hips from one side to the other. So a lot of people are gonna show you the way to finish the Mopata is scooting out and then coming forward. I'm not coming forward. I'm scooting my hips out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hand, post it on the mat. Other hand's gonna reach over. One hand post, one hand reaches over. This foot comes to the mat. Now I'm gonna start turning into my partner way. It's better for me because my knees again, but I find a lot of people have knee issues in jiu-jitsu, right? A lot of people have knee issues in jiu-jitsu. So instead of the general way of finishing, I feel this is a much safer way for me to finish and it actually feels much tighter. All right. So I'm here. I'm on my elbow. I plant my feet and I kind of switch positions. One, Hand comes back, other hand comes over, I'm grabbing my partner's rib cage. This foot comes to the mat, now I start pushing into my partner. And notice, even with a flexible guy, I could get up. Like, some people are gonna tap right here. Some people's gonna take longer, and they tap right here. Okay, biggest thing is I'm safe the entire time from there. And I really don't have to worry about him being offensive whatsoever. All right, give that a try. 